and we have divided uh, we have divided our presentation into six parts um, and that is introduction and industry red cross partial organization program and activities promoting fundamental principles and humanitarian values and at last is conclusion um, uh, first i will be talking about introduction part and history of uh, indian red cross society uh, so uh, so small uh, uh, sorry to interrupt you if uh, possible can you turn on your video while presenting at least uh, okay ma'am but <laughs> i mean <clears throat> Can you see my video, ma'am? Yes, 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 we can see. Oh. Okay, and I'll be talking about introduction and, and history part. Uh, so, uh, Internet Cross Society is a voluntary immigrant organi organization to protect human life and health base in India. Uh, uh, Internet Cross uh, Society is a uh, 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 Indian Red Cross Society is the part of International Red Cross and Red Christian Movement and and uh, the fundamental principle of Indian, uh, international red cross society uh, red cross society and red christian movement uh, the society the society's mission is providing uh, relief in times of disaster emergencies and promoting health and care of vulnerable people uh, it has a network over it has a network over over 700 branches throughout india uh, and the society has been uh, the so uh, and the society uses the red cross as an emblem in common with our inter international red cross societies mm, uh, since 1920 voluntary has uh, has been at the very heart of the indian red cross uh, with the society having youth and jun uh, junior volunteering and programs st zones ambulance in india has the uh, has the society um, uh, closely associated associated with and uh, let's talk about history and uh, during the first world war uh, first world war second uh, so, uh, service for affected soldiers in india was provided by a branch of the joint branch of the joint war um, com, um, uh, ambulance associated and the british red cross and <clears throat> so that's like A red cross and, uh, and on on third March nineteen twenty, a bill was in uh, a bill was introduced to the Indian uh, Legislative Council by Sir Claude Hill, a member of the Vicarious Executive Con Council, who has also a chairman of the Joint War uh, Committee in India. Uh, uh, in nineteen in nineteen twenty, on the seventeen March, on the seventeen March. Um, Mm, Parliament Act X X X B of 1920 with the assets of the Government General on the 20th March. Uh, on 7 June 1920, 50 members were uh, formally nominated to the constitute the Indian Red Cross Society from the members of the Indian branch of the joint. Uh, and the first managing body was elected from among them with Sir William Malcolm Hallis as chairman. Um, so this is my uh, history part and I would like to hand over my friend Nikita to conclude, uh, continue another part. Thank you, ma'am. <coughs> Can I stop my video, ma'am? Hello? Hello. Hello, uh, Nikita. Nikita, ma'am. Yeah, you uh, you turn on your video when you are presenting to all the uh, those who are going to present. No, whenever you present, you turn on your video. Okay, you can continue. 
गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम सो गुड मॉर्निंग यू कैन कंटिन्यू निकिता It's going to continue with the Red Cross partial. Uh, Red Cross partials are the goods supplied by the Indian Red Cross Society during the World War II. Uh, they have supplied the various goods like 8 ounces fruit and syrup, 16 ounces lentils, 14 ounces rice, 2 ounces curry powder, 8 biscuits, 1 ounces dry sugar, 1 ounce of salt, and extra drug. organization the indian red cross society was established in 1920 under the indian red cross society act and the honorable president of the india is itself the president of the red cross and the honorable union minister uh, health minister and the family health and welfare is the chairman of the society the indian red cross society has 35 state union territories branches Mm. and more than 700 district uh, sub branches there 19 there are 19 members in, in the managing body the chairman and the sixth member of the managing body are nominated by the president and the remaining 12 are elected by the state and union territory branches through an electoral college and the vice chairman is elected by the members of the managing body this managing body is responsible for the governance and supervision of the functions of the society through a member of committee the society general is the chief executive of the society and the programs and activities the indian red cross society program by group into the four main four main core areas like promoting humanity principles and values disaster response disaster preparedness health and care in the communities this uh humanitarian values is the encourage uh, for the human being to uh, respect all and the willingness to find a solution to the problem this movement aims to influence the behavior of all the human beings and to work on the basis of the seven fundamental principles um to a better understanding and the second one is the disaster response the disaster response um, it represents the largest work of the indian red cross society work every year thousands of the um, people are affected through the natural disaster in india and living people traumatized by the death of family and friends their lives devastated by the uh, loss of homes and the stocks of food and from all the disaster that occurs in india like flood earthquake and the drought are the most devastating like about uh, 18.16 million of the hectare of the land is flooded annually in india and the areas uh, in the himalayan regions and the sub himalayan regions are most vulnerable for the earthquakes and the, like for drought uh, it about 18% of the country's total land is a drought prone as a result of this thing uh, impact disease has increased dramatically in the last few decades in terms of the people affected and the length of time they are affected so the indian red cross society um, works for this providing emergency relief to the person who suffer from the natural disaster and the, uh, and for the work for the poverty uh, poor people and for refugees this emergency relief programs include in providing include uh, providing food water general health care uh, along with the sense of humanity and the sign that someone cares and this this some of the uh, and the third one is the disaster preparedness this in staff increase in the number of the natural disaster country wide in the rest in the recent year the red cross society devoted more and ten, more attention to disaster preparedness activities this aimed and the red cross society and communities 
to be more aware of the risks they face and how to uh, reduce their vulnerability and how to cope when the disasters occurs. And the last one is the health and care in the community. As many, too many people die in as a result of no access to the health, even the most health services and the elementary health education. Health care and the community care has become a cornerstone of humanitarian assistance. Uh, and this Red Cross aims to enable communities to reduce their vulnerability to disease uh, and prepare and report to public health crisis. And I'd like to conclude here. And for the furthermore discussion, I'd like to uh, hand over to my friend Chinkai. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, good morning. My, my name is Jingking Anbi, and I want to tell about topic about the other major activities. They are, are hospital service, the bank, HIV and age programs, home for digital servicemen, vocational training centers, tracking activities, maternity, child and family welfare, nursing, junior Red Cross activities, they are there. And then promoting the fundamental principle and humanity includes that the interact group nations have a consistent and inspirational approach to promotions, humanitarian values, and the seven factors and movements. The aim of will is to behave with true a better and entrepreneurial values and targets those working across and public and private authorities and members of the communities where we work. And there are main priorities. They are developing a better understanding internally. And this new Initiatives are being taken to cross frontier and an eighth of the fundamental with the in this time of master arm and developments formally stated to be of importance for the promotions. They are the protections of life, health, and human dignity, respect for the human being, and non discrimination of the basis of nationality, race, gender, religious belief, disability, class, or political opinions. There are service volunteers also. And the other activities are blood bank, HIV, AH, hospital service, home, or this the ability to vocational training centers, tracking activities, maternity and child welfare, family welfare, nurse Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, all my friends. And today our topic is Indian Red Cross Society. And I'm going to say about different activities 
uh, which Red Cross Society held, such as the uh, Blood Bank. The Indian Red Cross Society is the one of the pioneer in the field of blood bank services and is the one of the largest uh, voluntary blood bank in the India since 1962. Um, in different, uh, it is an international uh, organization which used to um, conduct the blood and each and every country the Red Cross Society used to um, conduct the blood bank activities such as for example uh, if a patient is suffering from anemia in hospital then he, uh, then if patient uh, does not get the blood um, as he or she is needed then we can give blood from the blood bank as uh, needed to the patient and as usually in other activities uh, nepal uh, indian red cross society also uh, actively participate in HIV AIDS by uh, giving the information about the prevention of uh, HIV AIDS um, through the youth prior education program. It also um, has program and project for the children of HIV positive mother to provide comprehensive care. Uh, yeah, by conducting those program, uh, IRCS used to give the prevention um, 